What's up, Internet? Don here from DonDoes30.com. And what we're going to be doing today is, if you remember on the last tutorial, we went ahead and kicked everybody off of a router, meaning that their connection was terminated and they couldn't connect again. Now, if you stop that attack and you want them to, or if you want to have a little bit more fun, you could create fake routers that basically floods their options um, when they pull up a network to connect to. And I'll show you what I mean by that in just a minute. So it's pretty easy. We're going to go through kind of the same steps that we did before um, to start out. Let's go ahead and get that terminal up and running. And um, what I'm going to do, as always, we're going to set the wireless card to monitor mode. Again, you definitely need a wireless card that has monitoring mode and also permission to do these attacks for legal purposes. I'm not going to be held responsible for anything that you do. So uh, go ahead and type in Airmon NG start. And we're going to choose our wireless card. For me, it's WLAN 0. For you, it might be a little bit different depending on how your card is set up. And again, to find out which card you're using, um, IF config will show you the list of devices. So we go ahead and clear this out. And what we're going to do first, after we, uh, or I guess second, after we set it to monitor mode, we're going to set the channel on the um, on the card using a command called iwconfig. Uh, we'll do monitor zero channel, and you can pick uh, whatever channel you want. For this attack, I'm going to do channel three. And there's no confirmation; it just goes ahead and uh, exits to the next line. So I'm going to assume it worked. Now first I'm going to flood the area, my local area, with random fake wireless routers. Um, and then I'll get a little bit more specific after that. But to use this we go to MDK3, Mon0 for our monitor mode, B, which is a beacon flood, and we're going to set it to channel 3 by dash C3, and hit enter. And if you look, it is flooding with these fake um, fake names right here, right here. And what I'll do, um, I'm going to include a screenshot of, uh, of my router here. Or actually, I should say my cell phone. There we go, just to show you that it is working. And it's showing these random ass wireless networks. Now. This looks like garbage. Obviously, there's an attack going on. It's pretty easy to figure out what's happening. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this attack by hitting Control-C. And we're going to get a little bit more specific. So as I mentioned in the previous post, I think I said, um, you know, maybe you could use this as a start at a Starbucks or Panera to kick people off the network. Well, what if we want to create fake Starbucks routers? Um, I created a list over here just on my desktop, uh, Starbucks, Starbucks-1, dash 2, dash 3, dash 4, dash 5, and we're going to use this as the names for the routers. It's very simple. We're just going to add another option to what we added before. So after the dash C3, setting it to channel 3, go dash F, which means the computer is going to use a file to generate these names instead of just random characters. And I'm just going to go ahead and drag and drop the file in here and hit enter. Now as you see instead of the random shit that it was uh, producing before it's actually using Starbucks um, and all that information on channel 3 and broadcasting that. Again I'm gonna take a quick photo shoot or a screenshot of my uh, cell phone to show you that it is listed. Now, of course, if someone tries to connect to these networks, it's not going to actually connect them. So the purpose of this is just to flood their options with bullshit so they can't actually connect back to a network. Or, or it's going to take them a while to find the correct network that they need to go ahead and connect to. Of course, with the Starbucks 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, that's all that's being produced right now. So obviously, they just go through the five options and finally find the right one eventually. But if you're doing that random characters, or even if you have a, a very long list of fake router names, um, it can even crash systems um, and crash drivers. Actually, there is a, uh, I believe there's a disclaimer 
even when you go to MDK4's help, somewhere, again, right here, it's your responsibility to make sure you have permission from the network owner before running an attack against it. Uh, and right here, this can sometimes crash network scanners and even drivers. So again, be careful when you're doing this attack. I just do it for fun, for shits and giggles when I'm at my friend's houses. Um, and you can make up any router name you want, so have some fun with it. Again, get permission first. Alright, that's, uh, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks again for watching.